All right, friends, welcome back. This is going to be part 73 of Dinosaurs and Man. And in this one here, we're going to be looking at another incident that happened where a supposed uh, plesiosaur had been brought up out of the sea. And so um, a real popular one for some of you that's in cryptozoology, I'm sure that you've heard of this before. Um, I've known about this for quite some time, even when I was a teenager. And so, uh, but um, let me just say um, this, that even though that some of the things that uh, we may look at may not actually be what we hoped it would be, um, it doesn't negate the fact that these animals could still be alive. And so if you believe the, um, the, the, the biblical worldview and uh, the biblical timeline, um, then after the flood, these animals that lived in the waters especially could easily survive. And so, you know, when you look at our globe and you look at all the water that's on this globe, you know, we still don't know everything that is in those waters. And so um, it very well could be that these animals are still alive. And so they thought the silicant was dead and had died off 65 million years ago. And then they end up finding a whole bunch of them still alive. And so, you know, that's just one of those things. And so let me just say this, though. I believe you can bring all the dinosaurs on this planet, find a whole bunch of them alive and find Noah's Ark on top of that and bring up the Ark of the Covenant. And that still won't make unbelievers believe. <laughs> it's just, you got to remember what Jesus said when he was relating that story about Nat, uh, Lazarus and the, and the uh, rich man. Um, you know, if they don't believe the Bible, if they don't believe um, God's word, they won't believe a miracle. They won't believe a miracle. And in that story that Jesus was talking about, um, uh, Abraham was telling the rich man, you know, they could bring somebody from the dead back. And that's what, that's what the rich man was wanting. They was wanting um, Abraham to send um, Lazarus back. And so if they won't believe God's word, they won't even be persuaded, though you would bring somebody from the dead. And so you could bring all the dinosaurs back and, um, and show, hey, here they are, bring a live T-Rex and show it before the world. And that still wouldn't make them uh, believe. And so, uh, you know, if they don't believe the Bible, there's not that they won't believe. They won't believe, though, you would bring back Noah's Ark, dinosaurs, and the uh, Ark of the Covenant. Well, that's the reason why you got to have faith in the word of God. You know, that's what we, that's where we have ultimately our faith, not in the things that I show. The things that I show ought to encourage us, ought to encourage us and, and give us an, um, an answer. Um, you know, whenever people come up to us and ask us certain things, um, but it is not the foundation, you know, that we build our faith upon. Our foundation is built upon the word of God. And so, but anyway, this area here that we're going to be looking at is New Zealand, just off of New Zealand, New, New Zealand, excuse me. It's called the Japanese carcass, the Japanese carcass. On April 25th, 1977, a 4,000 pound unscavenged rotting carcass was dredged up from a depth of 900 feet, 30 miles off the east coast of New Zealand by the Japanese trawler um, Zuru, Zuru Maru. On board was a qualified biologist, that fellow right there, if you guys want to pronounce it, I'll just call him Mr. Yano, and an experienced crew. All of them were puzzled by what had been dredged up. Yano uh, took five photos and pulled a few 42 horny um, hairs off the edge of the front flipper the carcass had to be thrown back as it was feared that it might contaminate the whole catch. And this right here is that carcass right there. Um, it says the rear half of the body was rotten and dropped off. As you can see in this photograph, the surface of the body is covered with a fat-like substance. And so what you're basically looking at, guys, is what supposedly is what, supposedly is what we're looking at is if you were looking at this picture to the left is you got the body like the shoulders or the back would be at the very top 
and then the neck and head is going to lean towards the left, and the head is going to be on that end. And you can kind of make out flippers there, um, hanging down at you know from the uh, just underneath the very top portion. Look, there's two flippers there, and then the body comes down the the picture. And this is a color photograph of that. Now, um, this is the drawing made by Mr. Yano um, after measuring the creature. He said, I can't think of any known fish which has this shape. I, can I can't tell what this creature is, but I assure you that it is completely unknown to us. And so um, this right here, and you can tell he drew out a plesiosaur shape is what he did. And they had it laid down, um, and so that red box there, if you notice at the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, um, that's what that's that's what you're seeing at the top left-hand corner there. Um, the body of it, they had laid down. And here's another photograph of it. This would be, now the neck and head on this one, they're kind of standing behind it, and the, the neck and head... It's kind of going over to the right a little bit. They're not directly behind it, but they're more they're more to the um, to the back of it. And it does look like, guys, if you kind of if you start all the way from the top where it's being held at and start making its way down, about halfway down, it looks like there's something uh, like flippers hanging off the side of it. And here's a color photograph of that same picture. You can kind of see you can see the neck and the head. And you can see what appears to be like a flipper hanging off of it. Okay, we'll stop right there. Um, I just want this to be kind of an intro into this topic on this incident. Um, but we're going to continue on. You guys be looking forward to the next one. I love you. And I hope the Lord blesses you real good. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.